it's profit that is driving who controls the food system, not only in the Western Cape, but in the country and internationally. You can tell that there are bigger powers that are at play here. This year has really ramped up food insecurity in a very big way, um, but it existed you know, pre-COVID-19. Inequality plays a, a huge part in that, but it's also the nature of our food system, our long uh, food supply chain lines, um, the inaccessibility of a lot of people, the monopolization of food in many ways, and um, that leaves people reliant on quite a small um, dominant system. Tango to Suiri will go into Canale. Boga can give me a very expensive at the Ipatikani. I say, Megua Wu Nyanya Ataka Maiku, Nunya Shewa, Imeoza. Anaona kama umeokoto mkuja kumuzia. Corona imefanya watu wa waendi vitu kwa shamba direct. Sasa kwa zile harakati za kutumiwa, mutu wana kupakia mboga imeoza, ni yana kutumia. Nani itambu ifike huku, imeoza. Somebody is deciding who can have what food. An example is this period of the lockdown. Was I able to feed my family the right kind of food? To be honest, no. There were days that you really were stressing how are we going to get food. Mind you, there's no scarcity of food in, in Cape Town. And then what happened? Prices even went up during this period made it even more difficult. So for me, it's all around money that we can really access the right kind of food that I think will be suitable for my family. With the pandemic uh, that we are in right now, our government was helping. There was aid, there was NGOs that were serving food to people and people were getting food parcels, which is a great thing. But when you look at the food parcels, you look at what is in there. It's carbohydrates, it's fats, it's sugars. Where is all the nutritious food? So is that really food security? Are we really secured? Are we really being fed? I realized that as a country, we are not food secure. Why do I say this? That moment when countries close their borders, you find that food was not flowing into our country. It was very hard. People could not get even fresh food at the market. So that is a very big challenge that you must come up with solution as a country. Another thing you find that we need to change also the culture of saving. We relied on only the little saving we had, which could not take us even more than a month. So we ended up relying on the donors and food from other people support. Mburiwa la ngizina wengine wanakuwa na na wanasema hautapita inabidi sasa lazima uchote kitu kidogo ni upita hapo. Na hivyo ndivyo imekuwa tukisumbuka so hiyo lockdown kuna vile ilikuwa inatuumiza sana unaenda huko kumbari unaendea chakula huko mbali lakini unapata kufika huko na robi zingine unapata unapata hata kwanza unapata unachomeka unaenda hasara Mr. Sano Ramaphosa we in the communities we are very very happy about the lockdown we are very very happy about your size of leaders but we are absolutely unhappy with the way in which things were not planned properly when plans were drawn up we heard about food hampers today in Tafosa Tafosa is burning Mr. President People have broken into tax shops. They have attacked people. The simple reason is because they are hungry. We are in the middle of a food crisis. It's war out here. But us, the community leaders, we are used to self-organizing. We are used to working with our people. We can get, give input and we can still turn the, 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 the situation around. We can still bring calm in our communities, but that fund, that big fat fund sitting there waiting for God knows who and going to God knows who, that fund must filter down to groups like us, people like us, who from our own pockets, the little bit that we still have in our, pocket, in our cupboards, get those together and make pots of food so that the most vulnerable can eat. 
sitting down could not help. So we had to come up with ideas. So fortunately, there was this thing called community action networks. You know, so when that came, with all the opportunities we saw, the frustrating tracking of making sure that vulnerable families or households would be supported, there would have been an unbelievable suffering if these community action networks were not formed. During this COVID-19 COVID pandemic, we are communicating with each other, asking questions, and they are advising each other through the WhatsApp group. And that by so doing, we feel that we are existing as a, a team. COVID-19 came. We had a lot of hardships in contributing the money and the savings. But the little we were saving, we were giving people on credit as loans. So it reached a time that food was not enough, even in the market. And so the time somebody took the money from the group, she could manage to get just a little food for her family. And that is when we knew that the, the money in our group was helping so much.